The Adjustments page allows you to make single adjustments to debits or credits. Find the date on the calendar that you want the adjustment to be made. Enter that date on the Adjustment page. Enter the amount to be debited or credited. Then enter a reason if necessary, which will help remind you as to why the adjustment is made. To enter a credit, simply enter the amount. For a debit, enter a minus sign, then the amount. For this example, I'll make an adjustment on October 31st for a sale. I'll go into Adjustments, add October 31st, add the amount of the sale, then add a description. Going back to the Money Minder, I can see October 31st now shows an adjustment has been made by the date showing in orange, and the amount difference from the previous date to that day adjust accordingly. I can do a second adjustment, this time enter a debit on October 24th. In the Adjustments tab, I'll enter the date, then to make a debit, I'll enter a minus sign followed by the amount. Just as before, the date is highlighted in orange to show an adjustment. You can also see that October 30th is in red, signifying the warning of a low amount. This is because on the bill review page, the threshold for low amounts is set at $500. In this example, if it were $491 or higher, the date would not be shown in red. What if I wanted to pay my electric bill a bit early and have that reflected in the sheet? This requires both a credit and a debit entry but it makes no difference as to what entry you do first. Let's do an adjustment for the date, changing it from October 26th to October 21st. I'll enter a credit of $65 on the 26th to cancel out the payment, then enter a debit of $65 for the 21st to signify the earlier payment date. The Adjustments page uses conditional formatting to advise you when an adjustment is no longer needed. If the date that the adjustment applies to no longer appears on the MoneyMinder calendar, the entry text for the entire row turns to a light gray. You can simply highlight the cells for just that entry, then press the backspace key, not the delete key. 